Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And today we're gonna to talk about dry fire. We're gonna talk specifically about rifle dry fire. Now for me, I break my rifle dry fire down into two different modules. The first one is what I call slick, or really just short. It's my short version of my rifle dry fire. My goal here was to have something that's under 20 minutes that I can kind of do and get in, get out and get done, right? Because we don't all have an hour to devote to dry fire every day. I get that. We all have busy lives. I'm taking this from an idea. Uh, I read this from Paul Howe in uh, one of his books. I can't remember which one now. Uh, but that when he was overseas, when he was on his teams in the military, he made his team dry fire for 20 minutes every day. And I read that and I remember thinking, man, 20 minutes, like that's, that's nothing, right? Like that's not a big deal, 20 minutes. And that's like professional guys who are out doing this stuff and just dry firing for 20 minutes a day. And I thought, okay, well that's, that's reasonable. Like that's something we can do, right? That's a reasonable goal. You can find 20 minutes in your day to, to set aside and dry fire. That's, you can do that. You can sneak that in between meetings, right? Um, so you can, you can work on that. So I wanted to design something around that, around the, that 20 minute-ish idea. I just did this again here and I timed it and I came out to 13 minutes and six seconds, okay? And I'm gonna show you that as we roll that in here, but not bad, okay? 13 minutes, 15 minutes, I mean, in and out, just boom, right? So that's, I wanna design that one part, which I'm gonna show you now, it's the, it's the small part. And then I'm gonna have a second video here where we're gonna do the long part or the full kit, right? And that'll probably be closer to an hour of, of dry fire time. But I wanna have those two options. One where you can, if you got some time, you wanna dig in and get some dedicated thing and hit all everything, you can do that. Or if you just wanna get the rifle out and just, and just do some ups and just practice the core skills you're gonna need for that rifle, then you can do that. So that's how I, my thought on breaking down my rifle dry fire. Okay, so really, you're just gonna need, obviously, <laughs> your rifle, you'll need that. But if you just grab your rifle, uh, two empty mags, and a shot timer, you're off to the races, right? That, that's, that's really all you need to do that. So here's how I will break this down. I will do 15, I, I start, have four starting positions, right? My first one is low ready. So I'll go 15 times from low ready and up on target and pull the trigger. What I'm aiming at here is a target that's probably about, it's a simulated distance of about 15-ish yards. My time for low ready is about uh, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, and then I try to work down to 0 0.5 and try to kind of push it at the end there. Okay, so after that, after I accomplish my 15 ups from low ready, I will go from low carry. Uh, my time from low carry is about a second. It's kind of the time I'm working at, about a second, 0.9. That's kind of where I'm hovering around to get up and on target. After that, I will go from high ready, right? So I'm looking just over the tip of the muzzle. And my time there is around a second right now. After high ready, I will go to high carry and I will do 15 again from there from high carry. My time there is about a second and a half.
Okay, so I've done 15 from low ready, 15 from low carry, 15 from high ready, 15 from high carry. And then the last thing I will do is I will do five speed reloads. And on my top, my part time is about three seconds. And after that, I will do 10 tack reloads and my par time is for six seconds. When I'm doing these tack reloads and these speed reloads, I am just taking a magazine and I'm just sticking it in my back pocket. Because again, it's, it's slick, right? I'm just running a slick setup. So I'm just shoving it in my back pocket. Again, I, I want this to be a low equipment deal so that I can just grab the rifle, grab two mags and a timer and that's it. And I can go. I don't need to like get kitted up and get a belt on and get a chest ray on or anything. I can just literally hit the core fundamentals with the rifle right now. Side note here. So some people would say, Dylan, how come you're only doing five speed reloads and you're gonna do 10 tack reloads? My thought behind that, my reasoning behind that is, every combat veteran I've ever heard talk about it or talked to has said they have never speed reloaded their rifle in combat. Uh, that just hasn't been a thing. Apparently it doesn't happen very often. And I can see that. You got, you got 28 pills in the dispenser, right? You're not gonna run out necessarily right away. So uh, well, most often those guys tack reload the rifles, they're topping off, right? Think video games, right? First person shooter, what do you do? You burn someone down, you immediately hit that reload button, right? And you top a gun off for the next one. So in that regard, that's the theory that I'm operating under here is that if I, if I have to run my rifle dry, it's probably a really bad day and I'm probably not gonna do that. More than likely, I'm gonna top off before my next problem. Uh, additionally, if I was kitted out and my rifle went down for whatever reason, I would just transition to my pistol, okay? So I, I wouldn't I wouldn't try to speed reload that unless I got a problem that's like, you know, 75, 100 yards away or f outside of my effective pistol range, right? In that case, then I, I wouldn't transition to my pistol. I'd just fix my rifle. But that being said, that's my theory. That's why I'm not as concerned about rifle speed reloads. Pistol speed reloads, that's a different deal. I think we all need to be very good at those um, because when those happen, you, you gotta go, you gotta fix the gun. And people run their pistols dry. Uh, you see that in police shootings all the time. They run their pistols dry. So all that to say, my line of theory here is I'm probably not gonna run the rifle dry. I still need to know how to speed reload it because that's a, that's a core skill you need to have. So I'm gonna practice that but I'm not gonna put as much emphasis on it as I am on tack reloads, which I'm far more likely to use. So I wanna make sure to have a smooth tack reload and tack reload the gun as efficiently and quickly as possible so that I can get the gun back up and I can be ready to move on to the next problem. So that's my theory behind why I only do five speed reloads and 10 uh, tack reloads. Hope that's helpful. If you disagree, uh, it's your dry fire routine. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> This is just my dry fire routine, uh, and you can base it, of course, how you'd like to base it, because, hey, it's your time, your life, your rifle. I'd like to note that I kind of based my dry fire rifle routine, both the slick version and the full kit version, which we'll get to in the next video, off of Reed Hendrix's uh, American Rifleman book. He has a dry fire routine in the back of his book, and that's kind of what I use as my model and my basis for, for building my dry fire routines, particularly the full kit. The full kit is almost that one verbatim, uh, except that I copy, I add in a couple other things. 
it only took me 13 minutes as you see there so you know maybe there's a couple other things i might throw in there but right now i'm just going to try to run this because i'd rather just do a little bit every day than nothing and then just try to work in these big chunks of time right so at some time in the future here i will do part two where i will do my full kit dry fire and for me when i do full kit i get my plates on i get my battle belt on because i'm gonna i'm gonna dedicate some time here and so i get all suited up and i think that takes about around an hour i haven't really timed it exactly yet so We'll see what the time comes out when I when I get to doing that one. So that's it, that's my slick dry fire setup. I would encourage you to do that. Grab your rifle, go down to your basement, get two empty mags, get a timer. Even if it's just one on your phone, although eventually you should just buy a real timer, okay? Uh, but get down there, get your dry fire and get that 10, 20 minutes in a day. It is going to make you a better shooter. If you want to be a better shooter, dry fire. We all know dry firing is the key to being a better shooter. So if that's what you want to be, get your rifle, go down to your basement right now, take those 15 minutes, and bang out some dry fire reps. Till then, do brave deeds and endure.